Gender Links in partnership with the Ministry of Local Government, Public Works and National Housing and with the support from Dakonia and the Swedish Embassy, has been implementing the Centers of Excellence in Local Government program. The program saw some councils graduating from being spoke councils to hub councils. Through the partnership with transparency, responsiveness, accountability and citizen engagement, Gender Links continued the COE's program on gender mainstreaming in local authorities in Zimbabwe. The documentary outlines the impact of the COE's program on service delivery and councils gender responsiveness in climate change, sexual reproductive health and rights, gender-based violence, local economic development, infrastructure development, citizen participation and human resources practices. It also outlines the changes that have taken place at personal and institutional level as a result of the COE's program. My name is uh, Peter Chib. I am the Chief Executive Officer for Bikita Road Disc Council. Background uh, of Bikita Road Disc Council is just like this. It started uh, uh, before independence, where it was in Yahunda and Munges, uh, and then it turned out to be called the Bikita People's Council immediately after independence. And then uh, in 1982, it was then renamed Bikita Road Disc Council in line with the Royal Disc Council Act Chapter 2913. The council uh, is actually an administrative district in Mashingo province. It is uh, 80 kilometers away from Mashingo city, which is the provincial capital, along the Mashingo Mutari Highway. Bigita Royal Disc Council shares boundaries with the following districts, Mashingo Zaka, Chiredzi, uh, and uh, Buera and Chipinge. The district is divided into 32 wards. 24 of which are communal, and three falls under resettlement, and the other three are also under small scale commercial farms. The last one, which is the Sai Valley Conservancy, is actually uh, one of the, and then we have got the last one, which is a mining uh, area. They discovers an area of 5,286 square kilometers, of which 53% uh, area is actually communal area. And in terms of the population, according to the 2012 census, uh, the population is 161,703. Bikita Road Council joined Gender Links in 2018 as a center of excellence, uh, pursuant to uh, gender mainstreaming as part of our uh, safe delivery issues. We found it fit to be part of uh, Gender Links and uh, as, as the Chief Executive Officer, one of my major roles as part of my contract is actually gender mainstreaming. And uh, being part of the, the Gender Links Center of Excellence actually enables us to, to be able to prioritize gender issues, especially at the time of budgeting. And uh, we are also benchmarked in terms of how best we are dealing with uh, gender mainstreaming issues. Since the local government ministry is actually saying no budget is approved when we don't include uh, gender issues. But over and above, the community of Bikita uh, is benefiting heavily from our being part of the uh, uh, gender uh, links. Part of uh, uh, gender links that is being a center of excellence is actually something which brought a lot of uh, benefits to the local authority. Firstly, we were able to actually now pursue the matter of gender mainstreaming and also sharing best practices with other local authorities. And also, we are now able to balance in terms of our preparation of activities and projects, how to manage uh, the gender issues, where we are saying to what extent we involve women and, and youth in terms of uh, project management and also participation. And most importantly, this also improved our accountability and also our proper decision making and uh, togetherness. Over and above that, you look at uh, the, the way we are now looking at things that we are now engaging, uh, especially the less disadvantaged, that is the women and youth, when we are doing everything in terms of identifying our needs, that is there is also a sense of belonging. 
In fact, we, we wanted them to be part of us. So they always say, we were there, we are part of the system of local governance for Victoria Road Council. The program that we are gathered here for, it is a partnership between the Ministry of Local Government and Public Works and Gender Links. Let me say that the Standards of Excellence program on gender mainstreaming has been extended to all the 92 local authorities in Zimbabwe. All the 92 local authorities have developed gender action plans. They have developed gender-based violence flagship plans, which they are implementing as local authorities with the aim of trying to ensure that local authorities provide gender responsive and gender sensitive services. Local authorities are very important. Why? Because they provide basic services for our survival. Our involvement uh, as a center of excellence under gender links has greatly impacted in terms of our planning. Right, looking at the uh, Gita Rodriguez Council, for now we are looking at issues on uh, safe delivery alongside uh, the issue of health, education, water and sanitation. Looking at water and sanitation, Upon being part of uh, uh, Gender Links, uh, I think we managed to put on board 40 borrows, that is, which were drilled from 2019 to date. And, uh, that those are new borrows, and some of them were actually solar powered, with the intention of trying to improve accessibility of water, which is part and parcel of women in the in the in the, in the rural community. And then, in terms of health service delivery. We have put up five clinics, which are, of which I think two of them are operational and three are actually uh, work in progress. And this has actually improved in terms of health safe delivery. Our basic intention is there is to improve on maternal care. That, that is our basic intention. Then in terms of education, we have managed also to assist the, the, the girl child. Uh, we have got a girl child scholarship which caters for about 32 girls in secondary school for, from each one. And this has also improved their social status in terms of responsiveness to issues which are raised. And uh, going forward, we, we think we should be able to improve uh, participation of women in leadership as well as participation of youth in leadership. And we've already started that. In, our, in, in my view, this will actually improve the way the community uh, view the youth and women. Gender mainstreaming has, been, has played a major role in most of the activities in the district. For example, in climate, in climate change, we have a district CPU, that is Civil Protection Unit. And now we are in council, is the secretariat. And as a local authority, we are also working on a, on a district civil protection, a standalone district civil protection uh, plan. Because you know our district is prone to desire, to floods and all other disasters, so we have got to behave our own plan. We are also having uh, the council is also uh, measured on awareness of campaigns on climate change between and in, we inclu we include men and women and even the youths are also included and. Our, in order to, 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 to make this more visible, we are also measuring on tree plantations, National Tree Planting Day. The council is by, uh, has got a budget for this and sub really supports this. And um, the National, the national uh, Cleanup Campaigns, is, we also act to participate on that. We have a proper dump site now, uh, and the dump site we urge the women to plant at that side so along this fence because it has been fenced. So we, we are working with women to plant the side so around the fence in order to protect the fence from the damage from the community. 
this is about climate change and we also as a council we manage also to train uh, 32 conservation monitors one from each ward from the community so that they would they would also monitor our projects in the community and it's to save to guard safely our environment important because of his excellence 50-50 for the government uh, also women are the people who are the very person who meet many problems in the community so we should have to be everywhere so that you can make the situation a bit lighter it has changed my life. When I go to workshops, I've been trained in something which I didn't know. Sometimes I was afraid to say something on the community or to stand for, say, for some... To, sometimes I was afraid to take a city somewhere or to talk something upon the community when there are men, men people, men, men saying, yeah, I sit down here, yeah, women, but now through that I, I can't, I'm very, very courageous that I can do everything. Well, is the property of the Rural District Council the projects that were done by the Rural District Council, there is construction of water for its use in labor, postnatal, and also as workers who benefit from that project. We didn't have water for a long term, but now it's easier because there's construction of water system at the Rural Health Center. They installed the pump which helps us a lot. It uses electricity. For the youth, we offer SRH services, sexual and reproductive health. We offer HIV testing for the youth. Also friendly, we offer friendly services for the youth and also family planning for the youth. Yes, as Africans, they are there, these young mothers roughly 15, from 15 years of age, they book for pregnancy. We do all the services which they require. That is the pregnant test, HIV testing, syphilis testing, doing ANC services, and we refer them to hospital for delivery since they are still young to deliver at a rural health center. So we refer them to Sevira for delivery. Kana chipata na cha boku dai, tino na soko tu shiri pedo nuko tika na mana kare pewa. Andi ti, shiri nyore ku kasro ku ya nesha tayi si tangu tu umwe mubere ku mana kare pewa. Auto ni na nesho kumbwa tu une timu umwe. Tangu tu undo chaga shiri vera undo chaga pe kwachu ku ku boska kwachu ku zote zire pango inje shiri vera une ngo chito nesha kamu. No ba ba du se boku dai iwe rakombere ku une ngo watu sundira watu tetanya ya kupai pa klinik. We clinic to watch a din, watch a smooth. I can I change a yakushanda. You know now we do so good. You know, it's raining already. What is it raining already? Plus one, why Pamba kilometers? I can wonder. Put up a pano in the shiro. Put a pano in the kwachu kuku. Put a pano in the kwama nyushi. And then Maria che put in in din or guara and don din. Sakata kazo fungo iso iso. Put ah ngati wone put to din. Wabiriki wakamira mira wakakura. Put imu wone mu duwa mira usiri. The Gita Road District Council has embraced the gender mainstreaming program starting with the top management and this has been cascaded to all the departments as evidenced by how the heads of departments are mainstreaming gender across all the council departments. I want to commend uh, Bikita Road District Council for being a gender hub center for 2021 and the council is 
providing mentorship to other rural district councils within Mashingo province. Bigita Rural District Council has been very active in promoting women's participation and representation at the local level. And the council has been running quite a number of 50-50 local level campaigns. On local economic uh, development, as a district, uh, we are, council is also linking women with the financial institutions. And council is also, also offering uh, free proof of residence to the, to the women in the district. And um, for our markets, uh, vendors, you know, 75% are owned by women. And uh, the youth own 20%. Only 5% is owned by, the, by males because I think they are not serious. <laughs> we also, as a council, we also offer uh, what that, uh, exploration licenses to small mining, uh, those, because we have got a lot of minerals in our district, and we also promote tourism in our district because we have got a lot. So we would love people to come to Bikita. We have got a lot of natural resources here. We would love people to come to Bikita. We have got another, almost two lodges, individual two lodges, that is Mute Chakas Lodge and the Ziso Lodge. I think that's promotion of tourism. And we've got the Sabe Valley Conservancy, which is down there. And you can go, people can come in for game hunting and maybe boat cruising and game viewing. We have got a lot. So that's on promo on, on tourism and Kanto is so in, so in the process of resuscitating its a coffee plantation. You know, long, long ago, Bikita, Bikita used to plant to have coffee plantations. So in order to resuscitate this, we have sent a group of our farmers to Chipinge for a look and learn visit so that they learn something. Then they come and resuscitate the, the plantations in Bikita. And we are also looking for PPEs to partner with we have got a lot of guavas in the district, so we want to cane the, these guavas. And uh, also, we have got gum plantations. We also want to make uh, timber from this. We used to have a forestry plant, so it all went down, but we want to resuscitate these plantations. The Minister of Local Government and Public Works is given full support to the Centers of Excellence program on gender mainstreaming. According to the Ministry of Local Government, the Centers of Excellence program on gender mainstreaming is their program of choice on gender mainstreaming. The Ministry of Local Government has been very pivotal in ensuring that councils prioritize gender issues. Let me I mentioned two directives that were given by the Minister of Local Government. The first directive was that council budgets need to be gender sensitive as a condition for them to be approved by the Ministry. And secondly, gender has been built into the job descriptions of Chief Executive Officers and Town Clerks. And through that directive, local authorities have been able to prioritize gender issues. Gender links is spearheading the 50-50 gender campaign in local government to bring about social change in Southern Africa. Gender links, a small organization with giant footprints.